Good morning. If you're wondering where I am, I am in Terrytown, New York, which fun fact, that's where I actually grew up. I lived there for nine years, so I decided I'm alone in the city right now. Both Mike and Andy, they see my two friends in New York City, have gone for the weekend. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna go out of the city. I'm gonna enjoy for the fresh air. Right now I'm in a parking lot, so that doesn't really count. But I'm gonna enjoy the fresh air and just explore. I'm waiting for a taxi right now to take me to the Sleepy Hollow Cemetery, and then I guess just walk around and see Terrytown. Let's go. So right now we are in the Sleepy Hollow Cemetery. This is pretty much it. I don't really have an agenda while being in the cemetery. It's really quiet in here, and uh, so I guess I'm just gonna walk around and see what there is to see in a cemetery. Sounds weird, but yeah. So I don't know if you're familiar with the Sleepy Hollow Headless Horseman tale, uh, but there's actually a bridge that the Headless Horseman can't, couldn't go over, and they actually have the bridge. Well, it's a, it's a reconstruction of it, but it was where the location of the bridge was. So I'm gonna try and find that as well. So over there is the bridge, and we gotta go down the steep avenue hill thing so hopefully I don't die so now we're actually heading up to the bridge uh, again this is a reconstruction of the old bridge but this is the bridge nonetheless here it is this is the famous bridge uh, that the Headless Horseman could not go over so you know what time it is it is a Sleepy Hollow Cemetery montage because you know I love those montages and let's go actually walking toward the front of the cemetery which is where the church is and also the older tombstones yeah it's just crazy this place is pretty intense it's it's huge or as Donald Trump would say huge side note I think I might be lost in the cemetery um, this is probably the last place you want to get lost in uh, because you are in a cemetery. This thing just keeps going and going and going. Don't know when it stops, don't know when it ends. I think I'm in the older section. A lot of the gravestones are looking a lot older and like they're crumbling. I think I might be getting to the front, I don't know. What I just found out is that Sleepy Hollow Cemetery is one of the America's oldest cemeteries. Um, you can definitely tell by some of these uh, tombstones that they're old. All right, well, I think I've had enough of the cemetery. It's kind of creeping me out. I've been here way too long. Yeah, I think we're just, I'm gonna go head out and venture some more outside of the cemetery. Crazy to see like how much has changed since I used to live here 15 years ago, but also how much it hasn't. I don't know if that makes any sense, but like it's changed, but then it's also pretty much stayed the same. So right now we are walking out of Sleepy Hollow and entering Terrytown, which is where I grew up. Yeah, we're actually heading up to the street that I used to live on and 
it's weird. It's weird being back. I'm now 28. I left when I was 12, so 16 years ago. Crazy stuff. And here we have it. This is my old street. Cobb Lane. Honestly, I think it's one of the steepest hills in Terrytown. I am definitely not gonna walk up that. It is terrifying. But I might, I don't know. Um, yeah, this is my street. And then you have the public library across the street over there. And now we're in Terrytown. So I'm actually heading up right now to one of my favorite restaurants that I used to go to with my parents a lot. It's called Horse Feathers. No, yeah, he's come here all the time. It's crazy. Still here. Have horse Feathers. <laughs> gonna walk up Cobb Lane. I decided I'm gonna do it. Why not? Go only live once. This is the steepest hill. I think this thing got steeper. We're gonna have to do a video montage. I can't speak while walking on this hill. Let's go. It just keeps on going. Thank you, breath. Oh God. Also fun fact, this is where the bus picked me up, so I'd always have to walk up this <laughs> hill. We did it. Play Rocky music right now. <laughs> Woo! So uh, right now I'm actually sitting in Wilson Park, which again, I feel like this, I'm a broken record saying that this is where I grew up in, but this is literally one of the places I grew up in, it is one of my favorite places. It's just so quiet and uh, it's just a big empty park. There's not, there's like no playgrounds, no nothing. It's just park and as you can see, a lot of trees have fallen down, especially that one over there. Uh, fun fact, that tree right there is where I first learned how to climb a tree. Exciting stuff in Tarrytown, New York. But seriously, this is actually really weird for me to be here, sit like where I used to sit underneath this tree, uh, you know, 16, 17 years ago when I was just a kid. And now I'm 28 and I'm back. And it's definitely bringing back a lot of memories um, to be here and to see my old house, to walk up that hill. Yeah, this is crazy. It's to think that so much time has gone by, but yet this place is still pretty much the exact same since when I left it. And here we have the elusive Ricky Sombone climbing tree. It has stood the test of time for ages and centuries and centuries ago. I do not know why I'm doing this voice, talking to a tree, but I'm gonna go with it. And over here, we have yet another tree that Ricky has, has, uh, has climbed. I almost just ate shit there. This was like a level two tree. That was a level one. And this is a level two. As you can see, it takes a little bit more expertise to ricochet up this tree trunk onto that branch and make your way up all the way over there. Stay tuned for next week, where Ricky shows you a level three and four. You might want to stay tuned for that one, folks. It's gonna be a fucking doozy. All right, well, I guess uh, I'm gonna head back down to the town because there's not much to do at a park where there's nothing to do. It's funny when you're a kid, like you have such a crazy imagination that I used to stay here for like three, four hours at a time. And now I'm here for like 30 minutes. I'm like, is it time for a beer yet? Is it really bad? I want to call an Uber right now. <laughs> I'm so far away from the lake and that's where I'm supposed to be. Oh, that's sun though. Oh. But I'm trying to think of what else I used to do as a kid, but this is honestly the majority of what I did was just go to parks and play play with myself that sounds weird and play in the park by myself and uh yeah this is what i used to do 1996 ricky was definitely a lot more uh imaginative than i was in 2017 because uh i am bored
But no, it's been a lot of fun being back here. It's, again, bringing back a lot of memories. It's taking me back down memory lane. I feel like everybody kind of needs that after a while. Um, you know, just because growing up sucks and just remembering the things that used to make you happy when you were a kid is something that really, it, like, it's uplifting and it's something I think you need to do once in every while. If you feel overwhelmed and stressed about work or life and you just want to relax, if you're close enough, if you are able to go to like your hometown or somewhere you grew up or somewhere that's special to you, make sure you go because I've had sort of a shitty weekend. It's just, just sort of unnecessary shit that's been going on so so being in the apartment was kind of depressing and just a good spot for me at that this weekend so I decided you know what I'm gonna get on the train I'm gonna go to Terrytown because I haven't been here in a while and um, so being here is definitely just kind of like flipped my mood and made me from sort of anxious and stressed and just sort of a little sad to happy and just energetic and just all around happy about life and just kind of made me think about things about what's important to me and what's important to keep going and working hard. So today, sitting in this park and just walking around Terrytown has just kind of like put me back into the place I need to be, which is in a happy, positive place, and to really just kind of focus on what's important to me um, and not let the small things stress me out and just sort of be happy I'm alive and live life and all that motivating quotes and stuff. But yeah, uh, I'm, I'm happy I came. I'm happy I walked around and it was awesome. It's super beautiful weather. I got super lucky with this weather, it's insane. So all around, this has been an amazing day. I'm so happy that I came here and the sun feels so good. This feels good. I'm happy I'm here. Alright guys, well that wraps up for this video. Make sure to give this a thumbs up if you liked it. Also subscribe down there because why not, it's free. And also check out some other videos I'll put in right here. You can go check those out and those are a blast too, those are fun. Yeah, you can see the Tapazee Bridge right there. Hope you guys are having a great day, night or morning, and whenever you're watching this and I'll see you guys later. Bye.